and welcome back to Firewall. Today, I will be showing you a Dark Academia and Witchy lookbook for Autumn. Starting off, this one is called Fishing for Coffee because of the brown tones and fishnet tights. This one consists of a gray skirt that I altered from a pair of pants, a brown sweater, brown tights, and over those are some beige fishnet tights. This next one I've named Sabrina, like The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina or Sabrina the Teenage Witch. It reminds me of that because of the big jacket, the headband of course, and the skirt and boots. Although I have several outfits that, in my opinion, give off Sabrina vibes. So this next outfit is the same outfit as before but without the jacket. Different hair, no socks. It's called Occult Studies. It consists of my mom's old fishnets, some combat boots, a black button down dress I thrifted, plus a maroon or cranberry shirt that I thrifted as well, with my hair twisted up in the back and some sun and star earrings. Unexpected Poet is almost completely thrifted. The black velvet jacket used to be my mom's, same with the white turtleneck. As the black top, I am wearing a black slip dress that I got from the thrift store, plus trousers that I also thrifted as well. I am wearing a sun and moon necklace and sun and star earrings. I really like how dark academia this looks. I feel like this fits right into studying in an old library. Here is Howl Pendragon because it reminds me of the outfit that Howl wore in Howl's Moving Castle in the Ghibli films. I'm wearing the black combat boots again, plus the thrifted trousers, a black bustier top also thrifted, and my mom's old hollered silk white shirt, plus a key necklace, as well as a sword and moon earring.
live among the evergreens is the black slip dress plus a green cardigan that I tied in the front, some black types with subtle white stripes, little socks, but I think I could find some that go better. These are cute though, they have little fox faces on them. And of course the combat boots. means quaint and pretty, which I think this outfit perfectly embodies. I am wearing my elf ears and my hair up in two little buns at the top of my head, plus my painted mushroom shirt, the black button-down dress, a brown sweater, brown knit leggings, some purple fox socks, and brown boots. Oh, there's also a brown belt. Here's my dog, Skipper, who sees my dad and would rather be with him than with me, but that's okay. This outfit just felt so fun to me. It made me feel like a real life fairy. And here's me realizing that there are these really cool little seed pods that are in our yard that if you pull them a certain way, they'll just they'll spread really easily like woodland confetti. Okay. So it's kind of cool. typewriter I actually wore to an author's talk uh, the same day as I filmed this and you can see it was a little late when we got back because it was a bit dark and my camera does not do so well in the dark. Nope. This is my outfit for today. My mom's old button-up waistcoat, a thrifted skirt, some black tights, striped socks, that black Mary Janes, and that cranberry colored thrifted long sleeve top plus a key necklace and my favorite sword and moon earring. Here I am filming it better in the daylight for you to see and I've switched out the white striped socks for gray and black striped socks and the key necklace for a glass necklace that my mom made, linked in the description. Here is Misty Wanderings, which seems like an outfit you would wear to go wandering around on the misty hills of some moor or highland or any place you want to explore. It's made up of a kilt I got at a thrift store, some tights, a black turtleneck, a crystal necklace and another necklace, plus a black velvet coat, some rolled down socks and Mary Janes. This last one is one of my favorites. It's called In the Library. It seems like the dark academia protagonist in a library or something, or maybe the side character. It's made up of a thrifted, warm, 
cold weather skirt, some thick socks, a white turtleneck, a black velvet coat, and short brown boots. I think this is the perfect outfit to be the mysterious person in the library on a cold autumn day. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like to let us know. And if you would like to see more of our content, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified when we post our next video. Our Instagrams and Etsy will be linked in the description below, plus my mom's glass shop. We really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much, and as always, goodbye for now from Farawa.